Sub bass. Simply put, it's just a really round bass. And most commonly, it's just thought of as a sine wave. So. That's kind of your most basic and a fairly common sub bass. Now to get rid of that little pop on the front, I'm going to increase our amp attack. And one really common example of using just a sub bass all by itself like this is the 808 kick. 808 kick is a kick drum sound followed by this long tail, this long sub bass tail. So I'll just increase our release and this is what we get. That's what you hear on those 808 kicks. And so if that's what you're going for, done, easy, sine wave. And you know, this is more about creating this really round low end that doesn't have a real discernible pitch. It's more just this bottom end that you feel. However, if you need to be able to hear the pitch a bit better, if you need to add some mids, so it's just not this really low round sound, we got a couple options. We can enable a filter and if you've got drive, just crank the drive, bring our level down. You see the higher I turn it up, without, with. It's nice, right? So now we can kind of hear the pitch. We, it's still a big round sub bass, but now we can kind of hear what pitch is going on. So I love this technique, adding this little bit of filter drive to it. If you don't have filter drive, uh, you can try distortion. sounds different but the same idea. However, my favorite way to make a sub bass is actually with a saw. Let's go over here, pop on a saw, filter it, and you can bring that cutoff way down and pick exactly where you want it to be. You know, so if I want it really round, I want it kind of bright. You can really dial in the exact sound. And since we're using the filter, we could bring in some drive. We can also use resonance if you want to shape it a bit, take off a bit of the big fat bottom. So saw through a filter is really the way to go if you really want to customize your sub bass to be exactly how you want it to be. Now, in this context, we've been using the sub bass all by itself, but one really common use for sub bass is to layer it in underneath another bass, particularly one that's lacking a solid low end. So for example, this isn't your ordinary synth tutorial. This is Syntorio, making programming synths easy with video game-like training teaching you how to program synth patches by ear. Each lesson starts with a demonstration, then an interactive challenge with over 200 lessons. Once you complete the program, you'll be able to create the sounds you hear using almost any synthesizer. Try the award-winning Centorial today. Let's say I've made a kind of typical classic bass. Something like this. Okay, that doesn't sound bad, but let's say I want a bunch of movement on it. Let's say I want it real lush. I go with some unison. Alright, that sounds nice, but you notice I really lost that stable, solid low end. You know, unison moves, it pulsates, and I want something that's solid, isn't moving in my low end. Perfect opportunity to just layer in a simple sub bass. See that nice big bottom presence? It doesn't change the character because it's just a sine wave. You know, there's, there's nothing in it. It's pure, round, low end. And so what this means is you can, you know, take your main bass tone and do whatever you want to it. You don't have to worry about the fact that it's a bass, like let's throw on a phaser. 
And as long as the sub is unaffected, which we can do by enabling direct out, this means it's going to skip the effects. It provides a nice solid low end to go with our really active body of sound. Now, Serum is nice that it has this direct out option so we can have a sort of untouched sub bass. Other synths have this too. But if you don't have that, you can just use another synth. Just open up a second synth and play the same line. And the advantage to that is you can make your sub bass however you want it to be. You can go with simple sign, but you can also do those other things we talked about, like running a saw through a filter. Having two separate synths, that'll really give you the ability to dial in the exact sub bass you want. All right, I hope you found that helpful. If you have any patch requests, go to our forum and post there, and I or someone else will try to help you figure out that patch. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.